Hi guys and welcome to the uh, the soils engineering video. We're going to talk, as I mentioned, just a little bit about soils right now. And let's turn around so you can kind of see what we're talking about. I'm out here in, in a, a farmer's field in my neighborhood and you can see what you'll see right here is that, you know, we've got some, uh, some orangish colored soil and in the background over there you'll see that there's some uh, much, much darker looking soil. And what makes that interesting is that those different colors means that the soil are, soils are made from different things. So they have probably some different properties. So let's take a look at the soil right here at my feet for just a second. You can see here, you can see that uh, this is, uh, you can see some cracking right here and some kind of speckled colors. And that's part of the, the, the minerals that are in the soil. And let's take a look. So this looks pretty dry here on the surface. Now let's, let's dig down a little bit. You can see that that, that uh, dry area is very much on, the, on the, the surface of the ground right here. And as you get further down, the soil is much more moist and, uh, uh, yeah, moist. And you can see that, you know, at the top, you have some pretty big uh, kind of clods that are, that are holding together. And down here in the, so in the bottom, the, those clods are easy to break up. And that's because of the, the, the different moisture contents. This here is a very dry surface soil causing these clods to form. And down here below, you'll have uh, a softer, more uh, uh, clay-like soil. So you can see, you can make a ball out of this. And that's be really because of the moisture content of the soil itself. And the thing that makes clays cool, things that makes clay soil kind of cool is that uh, the property of the soil itself is really, uh, it really changes with how much moisture is in the soil. And we're gonna take some of the soil back into the lab and show you guys a little bit more about that. Thanks. Okay, hi again kids. Now we've brought our soil sample back from the farmer's field and now we find ourselves here in the, the soils lab here at, uh, at the Corps of Engineers at Camp Humphreys. So you can see, look, take a look around. You'll see a, a lot of different equipment in here that we use to, to test the soils. So what we are going to do right now is that we've got our soil sample and now we're going to show you how to take that soil and separate out the particles of all different sizes, starting using these sieves right here that you can see. So the, you can see the, the first sieve is a, is a number four and it has uh, relatively large holes in it. So it's going to trap the very big particles on the top and then the finer sands and clay type soils are going to move through the sieves as we, as we go. So now the, the, the screen is a little bit smaller here quite a bit smaller here. And finally, some very, very fine sieves. And the remaining of the soil that goes through all the sieves will wind up here in the pan at the end. And let's take a look at our soil sample. You can see it's got a, a, a wide range of particle sizes here, so we should be trapping some of these sands and gravels and, and soil on each of the different sieves as we go. So are you ready? Here we go. Okay guys, here we go. We're just gonna add the soil. You can see our sieves have been stacked with the, the very uh, big mesh on the top all the way down to the very fine on the bottom. We'll add our soil. And this is where we start to shake. Okay, let's see how we've done here. Oh, very nice. You can see at the on our, on our top screen, there's a lot of the gravel sizes right here. Going down to the next level, we've got a bunch of sand here on the next screen. some of our sand down a little bit further so that you can see it's a little bit finer grain material now. Now we're getting down into some very fine sand. Now very, very fine sand. 
And finally, some silt and clay sized particles at the bottom in the pan. Now that we've uh, actually shaken our sieves and separated all the different soils to uh, of different sizes, now we put them on the scale and weigh each portion. Yeah. We're starting with the gravel. The gravel. the next one. About a 200 gram. Yeah, 206 grams. Yeah. Sixteen grams, and finally on the pan at the bottom, just a little bit. Yeah. Two grams. Now it's time for our homework assignment, kids. And this is what we want you to do at home. You, we want you to get a, a, a glass jar or a, or a large uh, cup from home. And what we're going to do here is that we can separate the soil by particle sizes by putting the soil in water, and the heavier particles are going to go right to the bottom, the large particles. And the, and the smaller silt and clay sized particles are going to float around a little bit and, so, and, and slowly settle to the bottom. So let's do an example of that right now. You can see some of the particles went down right away, and it slowly the, the, the finer particles are, are starting to settle out as well. We don't, have, we don't have a long, long time to wait for this to happen, but you can see here in the bottom that there are some of the larger particles are already beginning to collect here at the bottom. And you can see right here where the fine silts and clays are, are still continuing to, to settle out as well. So this is what we want you to do at home, kids. Get yourself a, a, a good sized jar and some soil from your neighborhood and fill that with water and go ahead and put your soil in there and shake it up really hard and then watch, this, watch those particles really settle out. And tell us what you think of that in your, in your video that you guys make for us, okay? Go for it. Okay, so now kids, this kind of brings us to our summary and why is soils engineering and geotechnical stuff important? So let's take a look. We've got our building right here and underneath our building, we've got our, 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 our foundation soils. And then down here at the bottom, we've got bedrock. So here we've got some really hard sandy soil. And then below that, we've got some hard clay soil. And what we're trying to do is prevent settlements in, in, uh, for our building that are going to cause problems for our building. So if we've got very hard soils here, we might just be able to put just a very, a very shallow foundation for our building right here. And that's cheap and easy to do. Now, but if we come over here to our second building, we've got very soft clay soils at the surface and more hard soil, sandy soil down below. So in this case, we may have to drill down and put much deeper foundations over here so that we can get the, the, the weight of our, of our building down onto the hard sands below. And obviously, this type of a foundation for our building is gonna be much more expensive and costly and time consuming to build. So that's really what makes uh, soils engineering important. We want to go out there, find out what kind of soils are going to support our building and adapt our design to accommodate those. Okay kids, thanks a lot, enjoy. Now go out and do your little uh, experiment. Bye.